Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to get rid of these black border uh, lines around your links in PDF exports from Figma. And we're going to be doing this by using the tiny image plugin. So I'll show you how to do that now. If you go to your Figma file that you want to export the PDF from and go to the top icon bar here and just click on the resources icon and then search for tiny image. So that's T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E and under the plugins tab you'll see tiny image pop up just go ahead and click on that result and then you can run the plugin by either clicking on the run button here or you can save it to your plugins list for later by clicking on the more options icon and then clicking on the save plugin uh, icon here so i've already saved it to my list so i'm going to go to my figma canvas i'm going to right click i'm going to go down to plugins then i'm going to go down to saved plugins and click on tiny image and that's just going to load up the plugin that we just saved a second ago so in this example, I've just got uh, a few different frames here and this frame in particular, as we saw in the Figma PDF native export over here that I exported natively from Figma, it includes this black line around the links. So I've got a link here and I've got a link here on my text and I basically want to get rid of that uh, link border from my export. So the way you can do that in the tiny image plugin is just by clicking on the create PDF button in the top header. If you click on that, it'll give you a list of all the frames in your current page and you can deselect those or select them as you need to and sort them by whatever order you want. You can manually sort them or just sort them visually by where they appear on the canvas. So I'm going to leave all that alone for today. And the setting that you want to make sure is turned off in this case is the outline links toggle. So if you turn on that setting in the plugin, it's going to automatically include those default black borders that Figma includes. So by default, the setting is turned off, which means that it's not going to include those black border lines around your links in the PDF exports. But if you do want to keep them on for whatever reason, you can do that by enabling the outline links option. But again, for today, I'm just going to be turning that setting off. And now I'm just going to click on the export PDF button to export a compressed PDF with those borders removed. So I'm just going to save that to my desktop. And now if I open up the new PDF that we just exported and go to that slide, you can see here that the links are still intact. So it's going to Google uh, for these two links. But as you can see, the uh, links are actually clean. So they don't have that black border around them, as you can see in the default Figma export. So I've just switched back to that one. You can see here that the links automatically get that black uh, one pixel kind of black border box around the links and in the tiny image export with the outline link setting turned off you can see that the links are still there but they're not getting that black border added onto them so the, the design matches what you've actually got in Figma uh, with the underline but not with that border that you didn't add in the Figma file so if you want to try that out you can try it out now I'm just going to show you another example if you're interested on how to export uh, single frames into individual PDFs as well. So if you want to know how to do that, I'll quickly go through that now. Otherwise, feel free to uh, stop watching now. But I'm just going to go through that for you now so you can see what that looks like as well and show you where the setting is for individual PDF exports too. So what I mean by that is the option we just used a second ago to create a single PDF basically merges a bunch of frames into one PDF file. But let's say you wanted to actually export uh, these frames into individual PDF files. So you can do that as well. And the way you do that is just by selecting the frames that you want to export into individual PDF files. So I'm just going to select all of them in this case. And then in the right hand side column, just click on the plus button next to the export label. So click on that. And then by default, it's going to select PNG. We're going to click on that PNG option and change it to PDF. So I'm going to click on PDF now and you can see when I click on any of these frames, we've now got the PDF export setting added. So now all we need to do is refresh the exportable layers in the plugin. You can do that by clicking this button down here or clicking on this little refresh icon here. And that's just going to load up the new export settings for each of those layers. So now we can see in our default tiny image view that we've got all of these PDF uh, settings and those are on each of our frames. So we can select which frames we want to export. So I'm just going to export the first few. And what we need to do is again, go to the general settings icon. So I'm just going to click on the settings icon up here in the plugin. 
And again, we're just gonna make sure that the outline link setting is turned off, which it is by default. But uh, if you've turned that on before, just turn that off if you don't wanna include those. And that's all you need to do. So we've got that turned off. I'm gonna click out of that. And this time I'm not gonna click on the create PDF button. I'm just gonna click on the regular export button. And what that's gonna do is go through the four different PDF exports that we just specified. And instead of combining the frames into one PDF file, it's going to export that into a zip and you unzip the file, open up the folder, go to your PDFs. And now you can see we've got four different PDF files here. So I can now open up that uh, individual file. And again, we can see that the link uh, has got the border removed. So it's just the plain link, which still links out, but doesn't have that one pixel uh, solid black border that Figma usually exports with the default uh, PDF exports natively. And of course we can open up any of these frames as single PDF files. And that's what that looks like there. So you've really got two options there. You can export the frames as individual PDFs, or you can use the create PDF button to merge a bunch of frames into one PDF file. Uh, but the common thread amongst all of these exports is just to make sure that the outline links toggle in the tiny image settings for PDFs is turned off. If you don't want to include that uh, PDF uh, link outline that Figma adds automatically. So as long as you've got outline links turned off, the one pixel black border box outline uh, that normally gets included will be removed. And again, if you did want to include that for any reason at all, you can just enable that setting again and that will export it the same way that it normally does uh, with the default Figma exports. Um, so that's going to be all for today. I really just wanted to cover that one uh, thing because I know that uh, some of you out there have been asking for a way to remove those uh, default borders that come with the PDF exports from Figma natively. So this is now going to do that for you automatically by default uh, as long as that toggle is off, which it is by default. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.